In today's video, we will show you how to install workshop maps on an unturned server. We'll go through the process step by step covering how to install workshop maps on unturned servers, find the name of the map and use it on commands.file to enable the map on the server. By the end of this video, you'll be able to install any unturned map from the Steam Workshop on your server. First things first is we have to find the map, so let's get started. All you have to do firstly is go to the Steam Workshop. Open browser and search for Unturned Steam Workshop in Google. The first result you will get should be the Steam Workshop page of Unturned. If it doesn't look like that, then another way that you can get to it is by searching for Unturned in Steam Store page, click on Community Hub button and then click on Workshop. Now over here you can browse the workshop to find the map you want to use on your server. For this tutorial I will use Trilogy Map by Try Solo Me. Next let's go over to installing the map. For this you need to keep the Steam Workshop page of the map open and go to your server control panel. From there go to Files, Servers, Unturned and Open workshop download config.json file. At the top you will see file IDs field with square brackets. This is where you have to paste the Steam ID of the map you want to install. Get the Steam ID you have to return to the map page on the Steam Workshop and look at the URL. You will see that after the question mark it has a numeric ID. Double click on this number to select it and then right click and copy. Now go back to the control panel and with your mouse click between the two square brackets in the file IDs field and press enter. Now right click and paste the ID that you just copied. After that save the file and restart the server. When the server is starting you will notice that your map is queued for download and will be downloaded before the server finishes loading. After that we need to enable the map. Currently the map is installed but it is not enabled on the server. To use it you must change the map name in the commands dot dot file. But before you do that you need to know the name of the map to use there. The name of the map is not always equal to the name of the Steam Workshop which is in this case with Trilogy. To find out what the name of the map you should specify in the comments dot dot file, you can check the description of the Steam Workshop page of the map or I will show you a pro tip on how to get it for any map. For this go to files and starting from server slash unturn directory, navigate to workshop, steam, content, 304930. There you will see all of the folders of all workshop mods and mods installed on your server. The directory's name are the same as ID of those workshop items so find your map folder and open it. There if you are in the folder of your map you should see one directory and map.meta file. The name of this directory is the name of the map you need to use in the comments.dot file. In my case it's Trilogy. Remember it and then go back to servers, unturned and from there navigate to server and open comments.dot file. Replace or add the map property with the name of your workshop map. Then save the file and restart the server. Now as you can see the server now uses Trilogy. By the end of this tutorial yours should be the one that you use the map that you chose. In the next video we will show you how to increase loot from zombies, horde beacons and naturally spawning items so you can make your server times 3, times 5 or even times 100 loot. Be sure to check it out and thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or join the discord which will be linked in the description below.